Some may find the following video disturbing. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, and there will be spoilers. Game Masters here, and today we are going to enhance a side quest that appears in Chapter 6 of Fandelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk. As mentioned, there will be spoilers. As the characters move in and around the town of Fandolin, they will eventually discover Daisy the Cow. She has escaped from Old North's farm, and Gwen Orsong, an NPC, suspects somehow some clover got infected by a piece of the shattered obelisk when goblins stopped to rest, and that Daisy ate of that clover, which caused her to have an odd malady. Should the players look into this missing cow, they will discover that someone saw Daisy glowing a sickly faded green color, and they will find Daisy roaming around the town green. But here's the thing. When the players approach Daisy, they will notice tentacles writhing out of Daisy's body, flail around and slither back inside of her, uh, all without leaving a mark. Now, I'm sure she's going to look at the players with her big plead, pleading large cow eyes and give out an odd sounding and should the players get close enough to Daisy in an attempt to comfort her, she's then going to vomit forth four psychic gray oozes that the party can fight. Once Daisy has ejected those oozes, she returns to normal. The faint green glow is gone and, and no more tentacles. And that's the end of the quest. No reward, no thanks. That's simply it. This is my enhancement. The characters are first and foremost tasked with finding Daisy and returning her to Old North's farm, which you won't find on the map itself, but I've placed it here just north of the Edermath Orchard. Once Daisy has been purged of her slugs and the players return her to the farm, they will discover that Narth, a human farmer uh, that they encountered briefly back in Chapter 2, has also been afflicted with a similar malady as Daisy. Now, North has writhing tentacles coming out of his body, and it will be highly encouraged for the players to not slay this farmer. He is simply old and scared out of his mind. Should they investigate the farm area, they will find that there is a large egg sac inside the barn that has spawned what is called an Ecephalon, a small triangular-shaped aberration. But it is also this creature that ties in with another quest found in this book, Pip's adventure. But we're not here to talk about Pip. This is all about Daisy and uh, the farmer North and those Encephalon creatures. Should the players slay the farmer, Daisy will attempt to follow the party as she has no farmer to care for her. Should the players manage to purge the Encephalon from North, he will grant to them a gallon of milk every few weeks or some homemade cheeses. Of course, the, the, the first few batches may have some odd effects on the players until Daisy has fully recovered. North will even let the character stay in his barn free of charge should they want. He is an old farmer and would welcome the company. Now, I am having a lot of fun with this new Fandelver and Below book. There is a lot of room for the creative dungeon master to, uh, well, get creative. Now, speaking of creative, I also want to thank these bovine supporters. The help that they provide to my channel helps make it so that I don't have to do sponsored ads. And if you'd like to check out how you can become a Patreon supporter or a YouTube member, I'll leave a link down in the description. Fandolin and its surrounding area is ripe for adventure. It's by far one of the better 5th edition adventure books that I've run across. And if you'd like to see what all we found within its pages, be sure to check out this playlist. It is only going to grow as I add more videos to it. What is something that's fun and unique that you're thinking of adding to this book's overall adventure? Let me know down in the comments. And until next Our Paths Cross, may your <laughs> cheese not curdle.